All right, so this is video three out of seven of our uh, fireplace remodel uh, video uh, time-lapse series. Uh, so on the previous days, uh, the first day we demolished the existing volcanic fireplace. Uh, the previous day to this, uh, we did some uh, sheetrock work and uh, built out this whole uh, mortar uh, area for the fireplace with the uh, the legs and header of the fireplace uh, mortar and uh, mortar on the bottom. Uh, so the first project for this day is we wanted to do some of this uh, drywall uh, repair work. Uh, so we've got the uh, taping knives out here and uh, uh, drywall tape and mud and uh, we're just starting to patch up uh, the areas uh, in between the existing sheetrock and this new uh, large piece of sheetrock we put in and uh, start to patch up some of this area up at the top ceiling area uh, which did receive a little bit of damage but uh, we were actually too able to uh, preserve the uh, existing ceiling sheetrock pretty well uh, and just fill it in with uh, with uh, drywall mud so here you see we're both uh, going at it here with the uh, first layer um, filling in um, uh, in addition to the fireplace in this project, I'm uh, removing six uh, wall-mounted speakers and uh, replacing them with in-wall speakers and rerunning a couple of speaker cables. So there's um, some additional uh, drywall work uh, that we're doing in this project uh, for that. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot of uh, drywall mudding uh, to be done. Uh, anyone who's done um, drywall work before knows that uh, it's sort of a tedious um, and uh, boring process of uh, mudding and then uh, waiting for the mud to dry and then uh, most often you have to sand down that layer um, sand down the irregularities and then uh, apply additional layers of mud and possibly resanding in more layers of mud uh, until you get a nice smooth even surface between uh, layers of existing and new sheetrock uh, so at this point here down at the bottom uh, Neil's starting to uh, block out uh, the work for the uh, new granite hearth that's going to be on the bottom and um, the stone tiling that's going to be on the front. Uh, here you see we've gone outside and Neil is uh, starting to make the cuts to the uh, stone tiling that will be on the face of the new fireplace. Uh, so uh, Neil uh, uh, graciously drove down from Northern California to help me out on this job and uh, brought his tile saw. Uh, he's a part-time tiling contractor and uh, used to do this stuff uh, full-time, so he was a, a great help in uh, in this project and other remodeling projects that uh, that we've done. Uh, so here uh, we're just making cuts on the uh, on the stone and tile and uh, the granite pieces. Uh, these uh, granite 12 by 12 tiles will uh, make out the bottom hearth on the fireplace, uh, and then we'll also have trim of this granite tile. Um, on the inside of the fireplace and the outer edges. Uh, so here you see I'm just going uh, through and we have a ton of uh, granite cuts to make uh, here. Um, three inch cuts for the uh, inner trim of the fireplace and uh, some two inch cuts for the outer trim. Uh, so I'm just going through and trimming those. Here uh, you saw Neil in the background mixing up the first batch of thin set uh, so he could get started with um, with putting some of this stone tile and granite up on the fireplace. And so here you go. Here's Neil getting started with uh, putting the uh, the stone tile that we've picked out on the front of the fireplace. Uh, so he's applying uh, layers of thin set here and, uh, and raking on the thin set. I, I believe that was a quarter inch uh, rake that he uses here. Um, so yeah, he's going through. He's uh, he's made uh, you know all these custom cuts uh, to all these sections to to fit all of these tiles together, um, sort of like a little uh, Lego pattern here. And so he quickly makes work of uh, putting these uh, these main front stone uh, tiles on and uh, building this whole area out. So he's going uh, in and out uh, to the tile saw and uh, making additional cuts as needed uh, to fit all these pieces in. And you see he sort of blocks out uh, you know, small sections at a time of a couple square feet um, with the thin set and then uh, puts the uh, pieces of tile in. And, and as he's going, he's uh, making sure that uh, none of the thin set shows or gets pushed through to the front side of the tile. So he's uh, you know constantly doing a little bit of cleanup as he goes, uh, pushing this in. So uh, there you see he's uh, pretty quickly um, 
built out the whole front uh, facade of the fireplace with this uh, stone tile that we picked out and now he's sort of uh, blocking out the bottom hearth so these are uh, 12 inch granite tiles across the bottom there's a uh, uh, five uh, across uh, by two deep so uh, 60 inches by uh, uh, 24 inches uh, deep and uh, and then there's an outer trim of uh, three inch pieces um, that make out the whole bottom section and cover up um, the existing irregularities of, of the weird cuts that were um, on the uh, this hardwood laminate flooring so um, he's just blocking everything out at this point I'm not setting it in but uh, making sure all the cuts are good and um, at this point the tedious process of bullnosing begins so uh, this is something uh, if you have granites uh, that you want bullnosed you can some you can bring it out to like professional shops that will uh, charge you a bunch to bullnose it on uh, some really high-tech machines um, or you can do it yourself and uh, we're sort of approaching it with the uh, do-it-yourself mentality for these projects so um, Neil has brought his uh, grinder tool and he's got a series of pads that start from a, a very coarse uh, pad uh, all the way down to a super fine one and the process of bullnosing um, he basically goes through I think it's uh, six or eight of these different pads um, starting with the most coarse and taking off a bunch at a time um, but he bullnoses the edge of all of these uh, outer uh, granite pieces so they'll have nice uh, smooth rounded edges so here at this point uh, it was getting dark outside and we didn't want to run the tile saw uh, anymore or the grinder uh, just to not make too much noise for our neighbors um, so we decided we'd just uh, move in and uh, finish the night with uh, the rest of the indoor work we could do uh, so here you see Niels uh, just uh, doing a, uh, another cleaning pass on the stone tiles making sure that uh, there's no thin set that's uh, seeped through um, this stone tile that we put on the front's uh, not a type that you uh, grout, they're all uh, squeezed right together. Um, so here you see at the bottom uh, for the hearth, Neil is now, um, he is raking on the thin set at the bottom and putting these main 12-inch uh, tiles down. Uh, these are 12-inch uh, granite tiles that I got from uh, Home Depot. Um, the color of these granite tiles is a color called Blue Pearl, um, and uh, the company that um, that makes them is uh, called MSI International, um, I believe, and uh, Home Depot uh, imports them and has them under a, a different internal name. And some other companies, I think, use these same tiles. But uh, Blue Pearl Granite is the uh, is the color. Um, so here you see Neil's just um, going through and finishing up the uh, the bottom hearth here. Um, he's got this yellow suction cup tool that he can use to pull up uh, the tiles. Uh, to latch on and pull up and so he goes through um, and he's very meticulous about this and um, he's a perfectionist at, at getting stuff all uh, even and level and so he's going back and forth uh, you know multiple times on some of these tiles trying to make sure they're as level as possible um, one way you can tell is if you look at reflections like of this light um, you see the light pull and the lights is a, a pretty straight line uh, so you can tell it's they're they're all pretty even uh, across there so this is about it for this day. Uh, we got pretty much everything done that we wanted to. Um, in the next day, for day four, we continue on with the uh, tiling and the granite trim pieces, uh, as well as uh, continuing work on the uh, drywall and uh, the in-wall speaker placements. Uh, so I'll continue on to the next video for that.